hi, you are loved. It's Kim. And today we're going on an adventure with Darth Revan in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Why we're going on an adventure with Darth Revan and not Cal is because I've downloaded a few mods for this. So you'll see now some of the mods have messed up something so we'll see how good, well this works. Also this might be very choppy because I have two instances of OBS running. This is a very beautiful but also thus a bit demanding on the GPU and I only have a 970 because of the current situation and fluctuations in the world's economy fluctuations in the world's economy so as you can see we have Darth Revan here cool as all balls wind sweeping is cape now I haven't played any of the KOTOR games at least so that I can remember so I don't really know anything about Darth Revan from a fan film I've seen I've understood that he does not limit himself to either the extreme light or extreme dark when it comes to the force so he walks somewhere in the middle I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I've understood. Wait. <laughs> we can stand on the gonk. Gonk. Now take... Okay. The gonk didn't take me anywhere. So I'm fascinated with that idea of... of... not limiting yourself to either... extreme of the force. Same with politics and anything really I don't think extremism is good in really any way whether it is the force politics or what not after you kid thanks then Je this game Jedi Fallen Order I've played through fully through once and then some uh, in a few instances as you saw from the loading screen uh, uh, some with mods and some not those ships are cool those big ones which separatist ones which look like they have a globe in the middle a fake moon and then anyway yeah I've played this I can't remember on what difficulty actually let's yeah let's Du, du, du. Let's do Jedi Master. There you go. But the few mods I at least have. Uh, so I look like Darth Revan. Then I have a masked voice changer on Cal, so I should sound like using a mask. Also, I have a reshader, which this is what this looks like without a reshade. And this is with the one. Or with the one that I'm using. So I like the look of this. It's supposed to make it look like the light is coming from natural sources. More so than normally from anywhere. Oh, jeez, now I can't get up there. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way. Another Don't way, you say? See you there, pal. Can, I, can I turn the camera? Another way, you say? I wonder if that arrow right there has anything to do with another way. Or the direction I'm forced to look. I was forced to look with the camera. Okay. I like the shipyard. I like seeing the 
giant big ships everywhere. And Fallen Order was first of these types of games. You are not approved trash. Trash? Just not approved trash. Yeah, me too, Cal. Me too. Uh, Revan. What does Rev? What is, is his first name? I don't. Know. Can I push you? Not that I want to. But can I? This was the only sort of game that is in any way reminiscent of the combat is, as I've understood, a little bit like, if even a little bit, but like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, those types of games. I don't know if that's true, but... Yes. Thanks. So I haven't played many games with combat like this. Or combat like in this. But it was fun to learn that. Wild night, you say? Having played through this, so am I gonna have a wild night. Reckless you too. Scrapper. I try. So I don't know why I changed the character model to Darth Revan. Well, it's cool, but I'm attracted to Cal Kestis's character model. What does that say? I want to read that. I want to know the the languages of Star Wars because I like linguistics and also languages. Oh, bye. Also, there's been rumors and it's probably safe yeah. to assume. Hi. Sure. Sounds good. Be there soon. Yep. It's probably safe to assume that there's gonna be a Fallen Order. Okay. Safe to assume that there's gonna be a Fallen Order too. I forgot I don't have double jump yet. Uh, partly because of the rumors of Fallen Order 2, but also because this has made a lot of monies into pockets, and those pockets are craving for more. So thus, the logical conclusion is to get more game to get more money in pockets. And honestly, People having jobs in game development in this pandemic, it's, <laughs> it's important. But that's a good question. How did you get here? When I had to climb that. <laughs> I like how the game is kind of self. Sell. There's a word for what I'm looking for. How the game recognizes that it's it has that character there where it's hard to get you know ooh this is a co cool thing to see they cut that in half the republic ship is it a Venator ship? I don't remember the name, but yes, that, that one. There it goes. <laughs> so, did I do apologize if... If there's stuttering, if there's... Ah, droids. If there's close, low FPS, because 
because I don't have a incredible graphics card yet. I uh, I would have liked to get an RTX 3070 or something when building the new PC, but it is what it is. What? There's a... There's a possibility that they're, they'll start cutting this before we're out. Oh, do they actually do that when at the end of the prologue? I'm not sure about that. I can't remember. Even though having played through the po prologue like four times. Bonk. Yump. Secured, you say? So is this Darth Revan's origin story with this mod? Well, mm -hmm. if there was a Darth Revan origin story, I would imagine he wouldn't be wearing all of this clothes yet in the mask. Maybe. Maybe he's just trying to get into Empire things. Okay, cutscenes don't seem to have the voice changer working. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just bad lucky day. Jedi scum. Yep. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships for It is just so they can turn interesting to me. I'm sorry, by the way. Yeah, uh, if you're going, if you want to see the, all the story, I don't think this is the right place because I'm gonna probably be talking or, over the cutscenes and everything. But it is interesting to me. How in Star Wars media the Jedi are usually portrayed as the heroes. When they do kidnap, well not, maybe not kidnap, but they do take children. Yeah, they do cut that wing, that's why it falls, right? Um, my brain's not, yeah, they do cut it. Do they? I don't know. How the Jedi are portrayed as the heroes when they uh, take children as as when they're young and then train them to uh, without mostly without a choice to fight bad guys when you know uh, oh yeah, you're gonna use your force powers for the first time ever now. Well, not ever. After 66. Road 66. H how am I... How does my brain keep up with anything? Yeah, you're slowed down. Cool. Now... When the Jedi take children when they're young and by showing cool laser swords and force powers they entice them to join the ranks and then fight against dudes not very ethical also using their in a way corrupt light side version of the force not recognizing all of its aspect talking about balance but lately, I think there's been more recognition in 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 media, how Star Wars media, how how that's not really the perfect way. For example, mm, well, Luke seemed to have a grasp of it in Last Jedi, but then he sort of Abrams made him retract that statement in. We need to be careful. Yeah. Her Return of Skywalker, but uh, uh, the ninth film, but still, hmm. Ray might not be fully in the light side as as Jedi demon. I hope.
was here before a while, bro. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, kill him. Also, I don't know if this is interesting at all, but setting up recording equipment this time was uh, a mess because I well I have the C922 webcam hi there I'm there which is supposedly a 1080p or 7 uh, 720p 60fps webcam which doesn't work because well Loki capture Let's you have so 720p 50 FPS without it looking like it's 30, 360p. But uh, it takes GPU power. And with this game, I couldn't really sacrifice any of that for that. So also here, I'm gonna show again, this is without the reshade. And this is with, I think it looks kind of cooler with it so then I run two instances of OBS because it uses less GPU and more CPU which is uh, the way my setup is now I have a more powerful CPU so through CPU with this camera, 7, 720p, 50 FPS looks horrible, like it's uh, 30, 360 or something. But 720p, 30 FPS looks quite fine, which is how I'm recording now, or the camera's outputting 720p, 30 FPS. But I have o OBS recording at 720p 50 FPS because the editing software I use doesn't work well with different FPS. So there I have everything set to 50 FPS and all the all the files I bring in should be 50 FPS because otherwise it somehow skips the frames or does something where it goes out of sync with the audio. So, this isn't exactly ideal, it's a bit of a hassle and a mess, and I don't know if it looks so, so good after all, you know, there might be stuttering and whatnot, because it demands a lot from my GPU, it's at 98% GPU usage right now. That was a tangent. <gasps> Wait, what? This is not a train. Is that an R3 unit, R6? That is an astromech droid. Wait. Wait. Astromech droid. Whoa. Oh. Let me through. It's mum. It's it's a Jedi. I'm apprentice. Oh, master. Master is mad because I've I've turned to the dark side of Star Thriven. That makes sense. That's the plot of the game. Oh, it's clones. Yeah, that's another mod. I have clones. And this looks surprisingly good. Modders are... The modders are amazing, let me tell you. So... I have clones and blue balls for them. It doesn't work for all the troopers. I think the Electro Staff stormtroopers are still stormtroopers. 
but most of the shooty ones are clone troopers. Also, let's see. Yes, we have Jedi Trilla. Although with the mask, it doesn't work. But without it, it looks quite fine. The the other sister, sec second, seventh, the big sister isn't doesn't have a Is Jedi skin uh, as of when I've looked her. We seek a dangerous fugitive. Fugitive. common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. Is it you? You look like a so Jedi. To turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Whereas I am clearly a servant of the dark side. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Ooh, lightsaber. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. Look at this, a lightsaber. Oh, the reshade might not work so well with all of the... Cutscenes. There's a lot of light going on. <gasps> Clones. Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to call this in. Quiet. This is TK eight one nine up. I see you. Nice. Yes. So another mod uh, with the it's something like I'll leave all the mods in the description is like n true new game plus which means you get to keep your double sided saber from the beginning and I think that yeah you should have yeah yeah so all of the things that you unlock when you progress the game, you have them all fully unlocked. Um, like I do in the first playthrough I did. Well, I mean alone. So... I had a thought. So you don't need to grind everything from the ground up again. Let's see. Nice. Oh. Um, there we go. So they have blue blaster bolts because they're clone troopers. The double sided saber is nice for blocking because as long as you parry block them, reflect them back, they it basically does all the things they are all the bolts they or anyone around are shooting there is a version of this true new game plus which is like you have all the powers and abilities unlocked and fully upgraded from right from the beginning but what that means is that it kind of breaks the pace of the game because really you go to some planets twice to get all the 
upgrades and if you have all of them in the beginning it it, it jumps around so this means it is more that's how i prepare that's how you prepare for death rest when you're dead stormtrooper I like the parries and dodges in this game. They're very nice. Also, I think at this point it wants me to do what it's instructing me to do, but I'm gonna be <laughs> parrying. Okay, I should I should do as it says. Hold to block most enemy attacks. Bonk. Can block stamina decreases when blocking attacks. So parry, yes. Bonk. Slow an enemy. Brrr. That should work. So you should let me climb, let me climb. Oh, I'm... I'm too late, I'm too late. Okay. Uh, yes. Evading is fun as well. Does that break? Does it not? Oh, I have that too. Yeah, forgot about that. Are you? Were you? Can you say you were ready? Okay. That's not a goable way of all. Hope nothing knocks me out from the sides of the tunnel. This would be very uncomfortable to go on. Go on. Oh, there's many of them. Come here. Come here. Come. Okay. If I go here, can I go back? I can't. I can? Oh no, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. So, because of this mod, there isn't so much light everywhere, so you have to use your lightsaber to light places, even when it's not the, the, the game mechanic, exactly. Cover. Run! Run! Gonna do it again. Yes! Run! Could I have... Is it gonna do something? Run! Ow, 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 just in the nick of the neck. Okay. 
Is that gonna fall off? Whoa, this is bad. It is. Oh, whoa. I'm hanging on. Oh, just in the nick of the neck. I'm just in the nick of the neck. That's not the saying, but... <laughs> We're in. I like the wind with this cape. This is a very well done mod. Amazing. I think they used some models from something. Or did they build? I'm not sure if they built it myself. The makers of the mod. Thanks, Seri. Sir. Sarai. Sir. Sir. <gasps> it's a sister. No. Climb up, up, up we go. And then into the tunnel. Whoa. Just honked on. Whoa. Those seem to be awfully close. Are they not hitting? Come in here. I'll meet you inside. Meet him inside. Meet him in. Meet him. Meet him inside. Okay. Lots of enemies, so it's. Easier to use a lightsaber against them. They're dead. Bonk. Brutal. Oh! I used their bolts to kill their friend. Slicey dicey. Oh, more. You wanna tussle? You wanna you wanna tussle? There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh no. This is bad. We've we've stopped. Yes, Cal. The, uh, the Revan. Revan. I should Really look up your first name so I can call you by your first name, Mr. Revan. Yes, the train stop. You're very observant. I didn't get this right when it came out. I got this from Epic when it was a bit on sale. But I really enjoyed it playing it through the first time it's actually I found it's kind of hard for me to play games all the way through for example Witcher GTA 5 took a lot of time I haven't finished Witcher 3 still Skyrim is well well not finished but this kept my interest also probably because it is an RPG and Star Wars, but anyways, fighting the second sister, are we? The first boss and the last, even though we can't beat her as the first boss. What a Jedi dares to... A, a Jedi dares to challenge Darth Revan. The lightsaber colors are done by with a with a um, color editor. Who's your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? One blade, please. One blade. 
Very well. You won't dodge the next. Oh. Dodge. Yeah, I don't think she's killable in the beginning. Smash the buttons! Smash the buttons! This is Ser helping a Darksider out. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't played or don't know the plot of this game. Ser uses the dark side to some effect. So in that cutscene, the lights... Oh! She don't have a neck! In some cutscenes, it seems the voice changer does have an effect still. And in some, it doesn't. What? Impossible. Impossible. Okay, so in this cutscene, the voice changer does work again. Thanks for the help. Who are you people? My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Priest Ritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? They're both building each other up. I like who that. that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Quisitor. force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. I'm sorry, I'm not super in in with Star Wars lore. I've watched all the films, I've seen some fan films, and I'm on the way to having seen all of the Clone Wars, but... So Inquisitors aren't considered apprentices. Because the Emperor isn't mad for... The Emperor isn't mad that Darth Vader has one. The Jedi Order. The Emperor had a problem with Darth Vader having Star Killer. Oh, Wait. We're not good enough for you. The Who's the main character in Force Unleashed? Star Killer, right? Star anyway. So Star Killer was a problem to the Emperor, but Inquisitors weren't. Because they're not In the meantime, try and relax. They're not Go, you're safe. apprentices per se. They're just assassins. Like Zaj Ventris was to Dooku, but Palpatine did have a problem with that when Ventress grew strong in the force. That's actually yeah, ex actually exactly actually where I'm at watching the Clone Wars in season three, where where the Night Sisters are having beef with Dooku because he released Ventress from her duties. Also, one mod, which is not very exciting, but we can run in the Mantis. And use a lightsaber you normally wouldn't be able to do, but that mod allows that. Can I not? Okay, I can't customize it yet. I also can't meditate or look at stuff. Can I? 
What am I doing here? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, so that was supposed to happen. Because Darth Revan seems to have that ability to feel echoes in the force. Is this supposed to be music? Wait, do I have music turned off? I do. Yikes. Um, for this part, at least. At, at least, let's put it back on. I usually don't have in the other parts, partly because I like to immerse myself in the world and also because I don't know if it's copyrighted. I don't know if this is copyrighted. I might have a problem. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Oh, so now we don't have the sound again. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi. But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. So we're both Jedi turned to the dark side. Yay. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cam. You're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come out with our destination. I like the sounds there. And the way that planet comes up and the visuals. Uh, exiting and probably also entering hyperdrive. This is Bogano. Bogano. A Jedi I knew discovered. <laughs> Ogdo Bogdo. Also, wow. With this, this, this shader, now. that's a very bright so, planet. Well, makes sense. There's sun. So. Hide out here. We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuild Sh the No Jedi shader. Order. Shader. But it requires no shader. Strong in the force shader. Its test. I like the shader. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the force be with you. That's bright. That's bright. Listen, looking for a Jedi then. Skill point acquired. Why does Seer need me? Let's see, can I get in and a little lightsaber. What was that shaky thing? Yes. Terrarium. terrarium. Don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know you could pay me back with some seeds. Hauling me around the galaxy for the last when it's out there, you bet you. hours or something? Five minutes? Last? Game That's time, an hour, like right. galaxy time. What are you doing, kid? What am I doing? What? Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be this irritated towards him. Okay. Yes. See, color blue. Oh. So I don't actually need that. So, oh yeah, so red is then blue, right? Actually, let me check this right now so if i have red 
Yeah, red is blue. That's a nice blue, actually. I like that. So, blue it is then, which is red, and not red, which is blue. Because for the enemies to have blue, it needs to be red. Emitter, let's see some nice emitter. I mean, that's a nice emitter in a way, where it, like, I like those where it comes to meet the blade in some way. This is not so, not so strongly, because it's also only this far, but that's at least some, some way there to meeting that. Anyway, uh, yeah, the emitter, let's see. Yeah, yeah, the emitter, let's, the em So this is kind of fun, I like this. Because it sort of comes up to meet it. That's why I love Dooku's hilt a lot. Because there's the part that sticks out and comes to meet the blade. And who else? Well, some other. Okay, this is... We have some... So, let's see what parts of it are colored. That we can see best with red, even if we don't use it. Got them. Let me try to. Okay. So this is. I like this where it comes to me. It this not so strongly. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, then the looks look well. You know Cordova, but inspired by Luke, I'd say. The magus is kind of cool. It also comes up to meet the plate those grabby handles but maybe this one yeah let's let's say that then the switch okay so this is what actually belongs with this kind of then sure I don't think I'm gonna keep the metal material of white because the red's kind of I don't know striking that's that's kind of cool the co gold accents I like that okay okay sure Ooh, those runes are nice wrapping some of that elemental nature some wood well wood is nice more ways than one, but I think I like this best, so let's take that. Sleeve then, that's kind of... Cheeto, maybe not. Okay, that's... okay. Mm -hmm. Some of these are a bit boring. Well, that's what goes with this, but I don't know if I like... Okay, I like the wrapping. Maybe that? Duty and resolve. Well, that's also cool. Uh, wood. Elemental nature, more wood. Lighter stuff. Maybe. Maybe this, actually. Yeah, that, that's it. Another emitter, then. Uh, so I'm not supposed to have that yet. But I. Oh, it's. I like that. Okay, but then for the material, let's see. It's a lot That's a nice looking saber. Okay. Mm, that's a bit too golden for me. Sure, that's kind of different, but not really black. Well, that's... That's fine. There's still a lot of similar colors going on. What's the difference between... Okay, Durasteel is pretty nice. It's like... Plain white. Boris Lord. Chromium. Duralilium. Uranium. These are all probably real elements. Bronzium. Which is not bronze, probably. Because bronze is made of different elements, and that's only one element. The pink saber and the pink poncho. Duraplast. Dura steel. 
Okay, so that's just plastic and that's steel, probably. Mm, I think I'll go for the stool steel. Yeah, that's our saber. Nice. That's enough. What are you? <laughs> I was trying to go meditate. Okay, so. Okay, I can move. So. That's enough. Darth Revan for this time. I. I. Th thanks, I know. So, what? So, I basically have everything, but some of them are locked because of stuff that makes sense let's rest here and meditate thank you for watching let's spread some love today